Tucker. I'm joined by Mexico's Deputy Finance Minister, Gerardo Rodriguez. Thank you so much for joining us. There is a lot of worry about inflation in general. Now, in Mexico, you've also had some concerns with frost. That's had an impact on corn production. Will that filter through inflation? Not necessarily because there were some uh, uh, issues in the state of uh, Sinaloa. Fortunately, they happened very early on during the season, so we're still on time uh, to uh, replant uh, all the corn uh, production and be on time before the harvest uh, season for that, not to have an impact on the supply uh, side of uh, especially the tortilla chain, uh, which uh, feeds uh, with corn. Uh, so we're uh, still in pretty good shape for this year. Uh, Minister Rodriguez, we're here where a lot of the central bankers and a lot of the finance ministers are meeting here today ahead of the G20. Have you heard their concern more today than they were just a couple of months ago? Because we're still talking about global imbalances, a fragile recovery and inflation across the world. Well, uh, in the case of, of, of Mexico, uh, we've had... Uh, we've been enjoying a very uh, uh, important recovery in economic uh, activity that fortunately has not been contaminated by any price pressure on, on the inflation side. Inflation uh, has been trading, uh, uh, trading down from 4.4% uh, at the end of last year to 3.78% right now, and it's headed towards uh, 3% at the end of, of March. So uh, Mexico is very well uh, uh, positioned because of the output gap and still we have not facing, uh, been facing any inflationary pressures, notwithstanding the fact that uh, economic activity is expected to, to, to be uh, very rapid this year, above 4.5%. Uh, Minister, yesterday I spoke to your central bank governor, Mr. Carson, and we were talking about the auctions, and he said that for the moment he plans to keep its status quo in the medium term, but do you want to raise the number of options auction per month? Well, uh, the, the combination of uh, policy uh, mix in, in Mexico uh, has uh, worked rather well for the current environment uh, of uh, important capital flows from developed to emerging uh, markets. We've been uh, taking advantage of this situation to increase the level of reserve through uh, the option mechanism, mm -hmm. but at the same time uh, use capital markets uh, to increase the, the average maturity of our debt, both in local and external uh, markets, and, and, and the combination then of uh, FX and inflation uh, and, and sorry interest rate levels in, in Mexico is uh, very well positioned to uh, help uh, the economy with the recovery. So we have no, not necessarily any plans in the short term to adjust our policy actions. Of course, all options are open, uh, and we have to be mindful of uh, the current environment, which uh, I mean can change uh, uh, very, very drastically, and be ready to uh, adjust our policy mechanisms. Is the ministry ready to act if the peso increases further? Well, we, uh, we've been acting. We've been uh, uh, accommodating the policy uh, tools precisely to increase the absorption capacity of the Mexican economy of this very important flow. But intervention? Direct intervention? Well, no, 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 uh, we, we've been rather uh, uh, in, in the uh, camp on, uh, say, adjusting Again, our policy uh, mix, uh, both in the, in the fiscal side, uh, on the debt side, uh, precisely to, to increase this absorption capacity without intervening directly into the markets. We are confident that uh, the tools that we have and the ones that we've been using are, are much more powerful than any direct intervention. Minister Rodriguez, thank you so much. Great to speak to you this morning. Thank you very much. Well